Hey guys, uh, today I'm just going to talk about a quick subject uh, that I don't think there's a whole ton of information on about there and I had a lot of trouble figuring out how to do it and put it all together and that's capturing uh, either screenshots or video from real hardware in DOS and for whatever reason there's not a lot of guides, you know there's tons of stuff about consoles, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, stuff like that but um, as for getting good screenshots and uh, video for DOS games on real hardware, there's really not much information out there. So this is this isn't this is kind of a guide on how to do it on the cheap. Um, if you're just kind of looking to get screenshots or video without a whole lot of hassle, you're not looking for the best quality. You just kind of want to do better than point a camera at the screen. Then this is the way to do it. And the method I'm going to show you gives decent results. It's actually what I've been using in my uh, videos if you for game footage if you've watched any of them. And um, and it, it you can probably do it for under a hundred dollars. So um, if you go and you look at YouTube and you look for DOS games and you're you see a lot of them, you're like, wow, the sound and video quality is really good. I can tell you right now, probably 90% of the stuff out there is DOS box. It's all emulated. Um, and that's, that's, you know, if you just want to do the video and you don't care about real hardware and stuff, that is the way to go. It's super easy, um, you know, it's pretty much free, <laughs> but you're emulating. And when I want, did this, I wanted two things. One, I didn't want to emulate. I didn't want to use DOSBox. When I show videos, I wanted to show the game running on the actual hardware at the actual speed. Um, and second, uh, I, I wanted to play the game as I captured the video or the screenshots because I didn't want to play a game twice, especially if I didn't like it, just kind of play it and then, you know, maybe hook it up to a TV and do this, this capturing and do it again. I wanted the ability to do both at the same time and I didn't want really much uh, quality loss or, you know, on this monitor I'm playing on, I didn't really want a lot of quality loss on the image and, or lag. Um, so there are a couple people out there, YouTubers, that do uh, capture actual uh, footage as far as I know. Uh, Phil's Computer Labs one and I think the Lazy Lazy Game Review, I believe he does some stuff through DOSBox but it, he also captures a lot from real hardware. Um, so uh, also I want to point out, I'm primarily talking about DOS uh, and then, you know Windows 98, when you get into XP and up uh, usually your CPU and everything and the operating system is fast enough where you can just do it directly. Um, Windows 98 I haven't had much luck either because there's programs like Fraps, uh, but I the the hit that you take to performance. I most of the games I played are pretty much unplayable on period hardware. So you know Pentium twos, um, even Pentium threes. So um, I'm gonna start out with the first thing you can do, which is well actually I'm gonna tell you how a lot of people do do this for the best quality. If you want a pure VGA capture it's not cheap um, and there's not a lot of information on how it works so please someone comment correct me if I'm wrong on any of this but I know the main there's a lot of cards uh, most of them are PCI AGP I believe uh, the big one that most people seem to use from like StarTech and I don't know how it works I know you need a host computer and you plug it in these things aren't cheap either the cheapest ones I found are like hundred and thirty bucks um, and that's kind of a deal on them I'm sure there's better ones. That's kind of like the lowest quality one. Uh, there's USB ones too, but everything I've heard about, for the most part, they suck um, if they work, and they're expensive too for the ones that actually work. Um, but you need a, you're, you know, you need a full computer with like a PCI. I think it might be PCI Express slot. I don't. I think you you need two computers. So you have one that your DOS computer, and then you have another computer with a video capture card in it, and then you run the VGA cable to it, and then. Um, I guess you need a splitter and one goes to your monitor. Maybe it just, I don't know, because there's not a lot of information on these VGA capture cards. So I'm not sure how they work, um, but those are how you get really good quality. Um, I think that's how probably like, you know, when Lazy Game Reviews does do the ones with the, uh, you know, when he's using real hardware or Phil's Computer Lab or any of the YouTubers that actually use, uh, do screenshots and videos with real uh, hardware. They're, I think they're using these VGA capture cards, which are expensive, and I'm not exactly sure how they work uh, exactly. But this video is about doing it on the cheap with stuff you may already have. So that's the route we're going to go. This was just a placeholder. This is just an old ISA card. So, you know, the goal here is to get our screenshots and videos out of this kind of thing. 
on a budget. So, um, the first method you can use, and I mentioned it earlier, it doesn't really work well for videos, but something like, uh, well, this is just a camera, but it records video too. I can't take a video of the camera I'm using, but anyways, you can just, there's some videos on it. You can just kind of point, um, point your camera at the screen, get a tripod, set it up, point it at the screen, put on your, you know, if you don't have, I don't have an AV, like a video in on this, maybe I do, or audio in, and, you know, usually you might have to just turn the volume up, and you pretty much just point a camera and you're recording from your screen. And this is, actually can be pretty bad on a CRT because of the nature of a CRT. And uh, I did this at first, my first video, and it sucks terribly. It's it's really not even worth doing. Sometimes, depending on the camera and the mod, like if you use an LCD and a good camera, you can get decent results. It's really not the way to go. Um, a method I do use though, if you for screenshots, is just just a, a smartphone. Um, this is a Galaxy S4. It's not the best. The camera is not the best, but it 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 works. And surprisingly. For still screenshots, uh, I've had pretty good results. Um, of course, it's not consistent. Your angles are off. You know, sometimes you have to take multiple shots. But if you're taking still screenshots and um, just you know turn out all the lights, take some practice. But you can get some decent, surprisingly decent screenshots just from using a you know a phone camera. And it's convenient to get to, you know send the files to your computer. Not the best method. I use it a lot. Um, you know, I have an RPG blog and I'm. I'm playing on an RGB monitor and I'll just, you know, click click. It's it's not the greatest method, but it actually for older games and you where you're doing like still shots, it's actually not that bad. Um the one one big downside of, you know, taking screenshots of this, if you've got like a motion going on or it's not like a static image really, uh you, it blurs. It's it's not it doesn't work out so well. Um especially for newer stuff on like HDTV, a console, that's talking about console gaming, but yeah, it, it sucks for things that are moving. Um, so the next method is using a card. This is a method I don't use, and I'll tell you why, but you'll notice there's a lot of cards. This is a GeForce 3, and it has an S-Video out. And there's even this, this is the PCI, and it has S-Video and Composite along with the VGA. Some of them allow you to do two, like you can run this to your, you know, TV or capture device or whatever, and this to your uh, monitor, but um, some of them don't allow it, and I mean, it's not original hard, I mean, if you're, you've got an old DOS machine and you've got this in it, it I mean, what if you want to take screenshots and using real, like, area hardware from the era, um, not era, era hardware, era specific hardware, obviously you're going to be, you're getting the image from a GeForce 3. Uh, you know, not a not a Verge or a Voodoo One or something like that, or a, a Vesa bus card or something. So I, I kind of threw out that option. Um, so this is the option I use. This is what I do with my machines. I use a uh, capture card, and you you know, if you're a console gamer, if you're a video gamer, you may already have these, and. The one, the one I've used so far is actually this. This is an Elgato uh, Game Capture HD, and usually, you know, it's supposed to you use HDMI, but there's a dongle here, and you can get an adapter to uh, S Video and composite. I've captured thus far all my video through S Video on this, and uh, basically, I, well, I'll get to what I do in a minute, but you, you need something like this first of all. This is a more expensive one. This usually goes for like 120. 130. I got it off Craigslist for 60, but that was a pretty good deal. Um, there's other cheaper cards. I just got this actually recently, and it's the Diamond HD Game Capture. Although that's a little misleading because when it captures screenshots and videos, it really only does up to 480p, but it, it does has pass through. Anyways, I got this basically for older SD stuff because it had component uh, where the other one has to change everything to HDMI and if you want to play the game and capture at the same time you have to have a TV with HDMI on it whereas this I can just run it through component but anyways you do need a second computer for this I'll show you the process in a minute here but you need first thing you need is a game capture device and this this does S video and it's also really cheap uh, you can get these for like thirty to forty dollars pretty much new 
Okay, so now the question is, you have a capture device, but it doesn't accept uh, VGA. So you've got your card, you know, you've got your, your ISA card, for your plan DOS, but how do you get the video signal from VGA to this, which does not accept VGA, except HDMI, component, S-video, and composite? Well, you're going to need some sort of converter device, and this is the one I have. Um, this is an Averkey iMicro. These are really for, you know, like if you've got a computer and you want to send the image to a television. Um, I got this at Goodwill complete in the box a while ago, probably like $3.99. I've seen them on eBay for not much, $20 and under sometimes. Um, there's many different kinds. This is just the one that I happen to find at Goodwill. Um, you know, it's not the greatest. It doesn't do like high resolution and everything, but when we're talking about DOS games, you know, it, it's good enough. Um, so let me just, this is what I use, we're going to use to convert the signal from VGA to S video. So let me just open it real quick. Uh, it's pretty small. Um, and what's cool is it's a pass-through too, so we've got two VGAs. So uh, you've got your computer, your DOS computer, and then the VGA goes into one of these, and then the other one goes into like a, whatever monitor you're gaming on, and then over here is the converter, and you know uh, this will turn it to uh, S-Video out. Okay, by the way, this is intriguing. This isn't VGA out, this is actually RGB. Um, so eventually I do want to try maybe getting an RGB to component adapter and see if that improves the image quality over S-Video. It should, but there's a lot of conversion going on, so it might not, you know, it's not going to be as great as straight component, but it's still, I still think it may improve the image. Um, but for right now, I've been using this S-Video. So use this thing and you hook it up and you can st you're still playing the game on your VGA monitor just fine because it's just a pass-through. And then it's outputting the S-Video and then you output the S video to your capture device and voila, and that's how you, I've been capturing. So uh, I'll show a real quick setup how this works. All right, so here I actually have the thing set up and running. Um, I'm using a 486. This is my Tandy uh, 425SX, so it's a 486 machine. So here I have the Avermedia converter hooked up. So uh, out of the video card, I have the VGA, and then that is going here into the card. And then it comes out the pass-through, and that's up to the monitor. So there's our monitor displaying just fine. Um, and then over here I have the S-Video, and that's going out to the capture device. And I also, from the sound card, you probably can't see it well, but this is I have this hooked into the sound card. And anyways, uh, those are all running up to the diamond capture device. Now ignore the component right now, but there's the audio and then it's going in through the S video. Um, I don't have it out putting to a TV, but I guess I could. But it connects to a computer via USB. So I have the USB going down and I have a computer down here. It's a modest computer. It's a AMD dual core 3 gigahertz. Um, it's running Windows 7, not the fastest thing, but for these kind of low quality video captures, it works fine. And on the monitor, there we go. <clears throat> not the greatest quality, but again, it's VGA downgraded to S-Video. And you, from here, you can do, the, you can capture your video. Um, you know, if the bright, I, at first I had a brightness problem, so I had to turn up the brightness because it was a little too dark, but you can do adjustments on at least most capture devices. And, um, you know, you can take snapshots too. You can, I'm using see a little keyboard and I've got the trackball mouse, but you can put that over the mouse next to you and just have it set uh, hovering over. There's an option that shows up. Oh, you go down there. One of those is screenshots. Whoop, screenshot screenshots so whenever you you can be playing your game whenever you want a screenshot you just click the mouse next to you and click it takes a screenshot for you or you know you move over a little bit and there's the record button um, so that's how you do this on the cheap again it's not the greatest quality but I found that it works um, you can see what you're looking at you know it gives you a good idea you, you know you can use whatever video card you want um, at least for VGA 
I think CGA is another matter, uh, unless you're doing it through the VGA card, but I haven't really played with that much. But you know, yeah, you can show um, how the different cards, and the, at least get the speed down, and not necessarily the video quality between cards, but you know, at least you can get the speed, you get some running on actual hardware, it's pretty cheap. Um, between the Avermedia thing over there, the converter, and uh, at least this one, it's like, what, four, five, six, let's say you pay, you know, 20 bucks for that on each, so, you know, under $100, maybe 60 to $70 for the setup, N not counting the computer that I'm guessing you might already have sitting around, and um, the monitors and all that stuff, I already had a lot of this stuff, so it wasn't a big deal, um, but yeah, that's basically how to do it on the cheap, now, if you want good quality, it's going to cost you, there's no cheap way to get good quality DOS VGA capture, but, like I said, if you just want something that kind of works right away, cheap, on real hardware, this is what I do, and uh, it works out pretty well. So I hope that helps anyone looking for DOS screenshots and video capture on the cheap, and thank you for watching.